What is up, Dinesh here, and in this video I will tell you exactly how to become an AR developer. So you will work with awesome devices like this here, and we'll have a lot of fun and you will feel like Iron Man. If you're new here, then subscribe to the channel below. On this channel I will help you to get into and grow in the AR VR industry. And let's get started. First of all, I did a video already about how to become a VR developer. Of course, like AR, VR, they are quite similar and still different. So that's why I did two videos. And I also wanted to see which one gets more demands. Yeah, let's see. So definitely watch the VR video as well, or maybe even watch it first and then come back here because there are some similarities and I don't want to repeat myself. So I will cover what is different now, of course. But still, if you want to get into AR development, then definitely also watch the video here on VR development. For AR development, the first thing that you want to do is decide on a platform. So it means that basically choose if you want to develop for Android, for iOS or for both. Because all of those three options, they have different um, approaches. Unlike VR development on AR, you have a lot more options. So there are like completely based web tools, there are JavaScript libraries, there are ways how you can just make it natively in iOS or on Android, but also of course Unity and Unreal. So the decision really likes also in your strength. So what, you, what can you do already? Maybe if you are a native iOS developer, then of course you most likely will go for iOS native development. But then if you really want to have something um, cross-platform, maybe you want to do a game and publish it for both, and you have some C-sharp knowledge already, then you would go with Unity. But maybe then you want to have it on the web and you have like some JavaScript, knowledge already because you are a web developer then you would go with something like a frame or something like this so there are many ways on how you can decide which tool to use for your interest on this channel i work with unity c sharp which works on android and ios and also in the future very soon on the web i will cover videos on those as well so if you are into unity c sharp or you don't know anything at all right now then feel free to subscribe watch my videos i will teach you exactly how to get started from the very beginning so you can learn to do cross-platform development on those and by the way unity and unreal also works with the magic leap and here the hololens 2 which is really really cool because that's like the true AR, it's really nice. Also they call it mixed reality, just so you don't get confused. Once you know your platform, it's really about to know the technology in itself. So just understand how augmented reality really works. So things like SLAM and um, image recognition and positional tracking and all of those things, spatial mapping on the HoloLens and on the Magic Leap, those things, they will help you just to become a much better or become an actual AR developer because they are necessary. Which is also something that I have taught on my channel already. So for HoloLens 1, I did a complete course for free here on YouTube that you can just watch and I explain those concepts as well. I will probably most likely do um, future videos where I explain those concepts outside of programming. So if you are a non-developer or you don't have any C-sharp knowledge yet, then you can watch those videos as well that explain the exact ways how AR works. If you want me to cover something specific about it, then yeah, let me know in the comments below. I will answer to all of your questions and to your regards and then maybe even make a video about it. Be aware that AR is also constantly evolving. So there are not only the mobile-based AR, which is the most accessible at the moment. There are also, again, things like the HoloLens, the HoloLens 2, which are quite hard to get at the moment. But still, there is the possibility to work with emulators, even though it's kind of not really close to the real deal but it will get you a foot into the door to yeah, become maybe a HoloLens developer as well. And yeah, many, many other devices are also being produced now. Apple will come up with some solution probably in a couple of years. So it's not only the um, things that you see most like Pokemon Go and stuff like this, where you have your phone and walk around or your iPad. Um, there are more things coming. So keep an eye open for that as well. Number four, you always want to be updated on what's going on in the industry. So that means really just go to your social media platform of your choice, 
the best is at the moment is YouTube and LinkedIn really and follow your um, creators follow the producers of the HMDs for example as well just go there and then just know what's going on at the moment because this industry is growing very fast and if you're not into it for a couple of weeks you are already outdated so you want to be keep on track follow this channel because here I will show you exactly what you need to know and what's important and then yeah you don't miss out and you are up to date and one thing that I can tell you from my own experience and all of those things are from experience but that's really like helped me a lot is engage in communities meetups conferences all of that stuff that helps you a lot to get into the field because you really meet like-minded people and since it's such a new and growing thing it's like a small family where everyone knows each other and it's very collaborative at least from my experience because everyone wants this thing to go big so that's a very very important and good thing to do show up to the events even though you are shy maybe or something like this it really doesn't matter just go it will help you a lot and that will help you just as much as all of those things combined because you will get really like into the field because you will meet the people who do it the most so again many of the essential points are in the other video as well because AR VR is quite similar of course but still five points for becoming an AR developer and yeah it's a ton of fun working with the newest stuff and you can do amazing things and it has a huge 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 potential um, it's kind of like if you are watching this video and you are until this point already then you know the potential of AR so don't miss out on this watch the video here and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I will answer all of them if you have any other things that you want me to cover also leave them below if you like the video then um, leave it a like and as always i will see you in the next one